This is my Gordon Smith G60. Uh, these guitars are handmade in England. Um, I bought this one in late November 1995, brand new. I think it cost around £700 at the time. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, checking the serial number with the company a few years ago, they told me that it was made in May 1995 and it's made from Brazilian mahogany. It's a stunning guitar and um, sounds great. The guitar is usually kept in its case when not in use. Um, you know the story with the uh, Gibson style necks if the guitar falls over. It's good night Vienna. Uh, the scale length on these is 24 and a half. The body itself is around 43 to 44 millimeters thick. There is a kind of a you know it's raised here, it's kind of um, like a Gibson, kind of a belly on it. Um, the neck is set, so um, it's glued in. So this guitar has got two humbuckers. Um, it's got a fixed bridge with six um, steel saddles. Um, there's no tunematic like a Gibson. Um, here you have your volume and your tone knobs and the uh, humbuckers are coil tapped. Pickup selector, that's the um, bridge, bolt, neck. Here we see a beautiful rosewood fingerboard with 22 jumbo frets and pearl precision markers. Here as you can see the headstock um, it's got a gloss finish over black. Um, there's also a brass nut which screws in with two screws. Chrome plated metal um, machine heads. They look very like shallers to me. Made in Britain. Okay, the back of the guitar um, has got the uh, cover for the uh, pots and for the toggle switch up here. And here we have a nice steel screwed on jack plug. Um, the um, front of the guitar is a gloss, it's a poly finish and the uh, sides and the back are satin. It came with standard strap buttons and they were quite good quality but um, I stuck on strap lock lugs um, because you don't want to drop this baby. Mm, this will give you some idea of the curvature of the body. Yeah. This will give you an idea as well of the uh, kind of the belly on the guitar. Um, look at the angle of the bridge going onto the neck. So I'm going to run it through two amplifiers uh, simultaneously. One on the left is the Marshall TSL 602. And one on the right is a Fender Frontman 212R. And this is the pedal board I'm going to use. Um, it's just got the uh, Boss CS2 compressor, the little metalizer, uh, distortion, DD3 delay and there's a noise gate at the end. This is the clean signal uh, with both pickups selected. This is the bridge pickup. pickup. Okay, 
Now the coil taps, you can take the two of them up like this, a uh, little more hum, and then you have uh, both pickups. And then the bridge. Telly snap off it there. Uh, the neck. This is with the Boss DS1. Um, the pedal has got the distortion up full. Um, and two pickups selected here. This is the uh, bridge pickup. This is with the distortion setting on the Boss DS1, set back to 12 o'clock. And here we're using the neck pickup. Beautiful and creamy. Okay, let's go for some digital metalizer fun. <laughs> I'm going to tell off the demo by using a loop and play over it with the um, bridge pickup. <laughs> <laughs> 